too often, we let the scoreboard determine winners and losers. Trailing DeWitt by 22 points in the final minutes, Mason appeared to be on the losing end of a critical league game. But then, head coach Jerry Van Havel sent Jay Granger onto the field, and everything changed. There's a bigger picture than what the real score is at the end of the game. That The bigger picture is, is you know, being a good person. Second string quarterback, Brad Walton, who was getting his first rep as a quarterback on the varsity. Our city told me to look for the ball. I knew I was going to get it. Jay is autistic, so Coach Van Havel made a special request. Let Jay run a few steps, then stop. But DeWitt went a step further and made a lifelong dream come true. I think it reflects on both teams and both coaching staffs and both programs and communities that, hey, there's great kids across, across mid-Michigan. I don't score touchdowns in football. Mm -hmm. Well, I really don't have that much talent in the sport. That's or, not true, you just scored a touchdown. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jay's always been treated like just another football player here at Mason, and that's just how he likes it. But in the classroom, Jay's always needed some extra help. Luckily, Jared Van Havel's been by his side since first grade, and now he just happens to be his quarterback too. He's always the positive guy on the team. He's never negative. I've never heard him once complain about anything that we're doing. He does all of the conditioning with us. He's just, he's always that support that we have no matter what. He's, he's still, He'll push me in school and in sports. Beyond that, it's real special to our players, too, because Jay's really important to our other kids. It's one of the coolest things I've ever done on my athletic career. Jay Granger, our sixth sports player of the week.